Humans have an innate interest in old things. Many of us collect them. Old coins, old baseball cards, old cars. Museums specialize in old things. We love walking through them to get a glimpse of the past. Certain American towns are famous for their place in history, especially in the Old West. Places like Tombstone, Arizona, Dodge City, Kansas, Deadwood, South Dakota. Another Old West town that's famous for something old, yet has stood the test of time, is Durango, Colorado. Durango was formed in the, uh, anywhere from the 1870s into the 1880s uh, by different people. Uh, it has always been vibrant because it is so connected to lots of different cultures. The Anasazi culture, the, the college, the, uh, the cowboys and the Indians, everything is all here in Durango. We have a great mix and that's why Durango is so successful. For all who love Victorian and Old West history, the Durango Heritage Celebration held each year commemorates the town's colorful and diverse history, focusing on the period from the town's incorporation in 1881 until 1912. This event educates and entertains those that wish to harken back to the time of Durango's beginnings. Many of those that attend are dressed in authentic period attire throughout the celebration. Durango is all about celebration and the cultural celebration that's happening the Heritage Fest right now is uh, all about the Victorian era. We have bluegrass festivals, wine festivals, um, cowboy poetry gatherings, many kinds of things that kind of tie us together and celebrate those cultures. The historic Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad has been in continuous operation for 130 years, carrying passengers behind vintage steam locomotives in some of the oldest passenger cars in existence while offering spectacular views along its journey. You know, a trip on the Durango Silver to Narrow Gauge Railroad is where you not only experience some of the greatest geography you'll ever see in the world that God gave us with these mountains and these gorges and this river, but you experience with people on that train that deliver the kind of ride that you will never forget. It's once in a lifetime, and it's all about presenting the West and presenting this great country as an American treasure. The centerpiece of downtown Durango is the Strader Hotel. Fixed in the center of Durango's historic district, for 125 years, the red brick building has housed the likes of Will Rogers, Louis L'Amour, and President Gerald Ford, along with cattle barons and mining tycoons. The Strader has a distinction of being one of the only hotels I know of that's actually a working and living museum. We have artifacts of the Durango and the San Juan Basin area from the 1800s in display cases throughout the hotel. So when you get here, you can see a, a headdress from a youth chief. You can see a, a gold gun that was made in the 1800s. You can see revolvers, showcase displays everywhere, along with the collection of antiques that you'll find all throughout the hotel. So as one travel writer once said, why not stay in a museum? And that's what we are. Rod Barker is a third-generation owner of the Strader. His grandfather, Earl Barker, purchased the hotel in 1926 and handed it down to Rod's father, Earl Jr., in 1954. Rod took over in 1985. Barker believes that travel is about sampling regional cultures, and the Strader Hotel is an icon of the Old West culture. Back in the 1800s, people used the best materials. Uh, they didn't skimp where today you would skimp to make things come together. The beautiful woodwork, the fine uh, wallpaper details, all of those things yield craftsmanship, which you don't find today so much. And um, it's everywhere in this hotel. We're all about craftsmanship from the furniture, the woodwork, the service, the entertainment, every part of it. Entering the lobby of the Strader is like stepping into a time capsule and being launched back in time to a bygone era where Victorian elegance meets Wild West. Each of the 93 rooms is lavishly furnished with American and Victorian antiques that comprise one of the world's largest collections. I learned a long time ago that once a hotel gets behind the curve, they generally go out of business and they get torn down. Lots of beautiful old hotels got torn down because they didn't put money back in every year. So we've invested in uh, putting over several hundred thousand dollars a year back into this hotel. Uh, we have the world's largest collection of American Victorian walnut antiques. 
We're always searching for new and improved ones, better. Uh, we have a whole team of craftsmen here on the hotel that do everything that we need to do from wallpaper to painting, furniture craftsmanship, all of that. As comfortable, elegant, and relaxing as the rooms are, the action is not far away. To get a real taste of the Wild West, simply saddle up to the bar at the Strader's Diamond Bell Saloon, where the pours are generous and the saloon girls are friendly. Or catch a show at the Strader Theater. When people travel, they love to be entertained. Uh, so we have some of the longest running venues of entertainment anywhere in Durango. The Diamond Bell Saloon, which was put in in 1957, has had ragtime piano player every year since those early days. Uh, some of the finest ragtime piano players in the world play here every year. The Mahogany Grill has some of the best cuisine that we have available anywhere in Southwest Colorado. Uh, the Office Spiratorium, a fun little bar where it's quaint and, and uh, with great cocktails. And then the Melodrama, where you can have a great show and enjoy the whole environment. After serving over three million guests throughout the three generations of Barkers, the Strader has achieved a level of service that is legendary for a small hotel. Our staff is the, the key to why uh, our hospitality is where it is. They have to enjoy what they're doing, and I think that's the biggest part of it. Uh, the teamwork amongst the staff, the understanding of, of how important it is for a guest to have a great experience when they come here. It might be a family reunion, it might be a wedding anniversary, it might be a honeymoon. Any of those kind of things are significant in each person's life, and our staff understands that they have got to be a part of the success of that for every single individual group that comes in. The Strader is built on real old-fashioned hospitality mixed with modern amenities that bring its guests all the comforts of home. But while many other hotels promise you that, the Strader also delivers the memories of the past, education of the culture, and the ability to make your stay a part of history. The Strader Hotel, where you can spend a night in a museum. To learn more about the Strader Hotel, visit their website.